Hi everybody, my name is Terry and welcome to another Ultimaker firmware update. Ultimaker firmware 6.5 has been released and it includes great improvements for your workflow. The material station users benefit from improved reliability while error handling is more user friendly for everyone. So let's learn a little bit more about the new features. If you are printing with third party materials, you can now install them with a USB stick. Slice your print job in Cura with the third-party material, save it to the USB stick, and import the material profile through the menu of your printer. The printer will detect the new material profile and will give you the option to install it. Once installed, it will be available in the material selection in the printer display. And then, you can start printing with the third-party materials. When there is an error which requires the printer to restart, you can now do that with a button on the display. So that means you no longer have to reach all the way to the back to restart your printer. If the error persists, then you can go to our website for further support, but this is usually not needed. After each print on the S5 with a material station, the material is deprimed. This means it is slightly retracted right before cooling down. This will make the filament cool in a certain shape, creating a clean break. On the firmware 6.5, this process has been improved, allowing the filament to consistently take the right shape. This is very important during loading the filament because the tip needs to guide the material through the material station and printer. Having a badly cut tip can result in blockage and errors. The Ultimaker S5 has a flow sensor in the printer's feeders. From firmware 6.5, the material station will use these flow sensors to detect more accurately where the material is during the loading procedure. So this will increase reliability and efficiency and highly decreasing the chance of grinding and the error 65. So those were the biggest improvements for firmware 6.5. For a full list, check out the link to the blog in the description below. And if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe so you will never miss an update. Thank you and stay creative everybody and see you next time.